Hello friends, Ray Livingston here from Malone Season 6. Uh, I just want to take a minute, and one, as an excuse to get up in the forest, but also to just kind of go over some of my gear selections. Uh, today I wanted to talk about this coat. Uh, I made this coat about two years ago. It is made out of uh, Scottish Highland cattle hide. I uh, kind of put the word out that I was looking for a, a Scottish Highland cattle hide and lo and behold uh, some friends of mine uh, had farmed them and they had some old hides in their attic that they, wa they actually wanted to get rid of so I bought them and uh, I made this coat out of a single Scottish, cattle, Scottish Highland cattle hide and then uh, I lined it with, uh, with fox fur uh, which is dyed black obviously. Um, it served me well. I wore it on a lot of trails and a lot of outings. Um, you know, I've got the hide and I made it pretty much in one night. I made the jacket and then added the, the collar later. Um, the buckles are from my old uh, deceased dogs. I took their brass collars from my hunting dogs and, uh, and I made these, uh, the buckles to secure the jacket. So, kind of a Little, little tribute to them and so I could carry them with me on all my adventures. Um, I've taken and here in the Pacific Northwest, I live in, in Vancouver, Washington, but spent most of my time in the woods in Oregon. It's obviously pretty wet and so I've uh, brushed it with uh, a lot of mink oil uh, um, and that helps shed water so it doesn't absorb into the fur and make it a big, uh, heavy, cumbersome jacket. Um, for this show, I sewed in a Patagonia vest as well as a, a military jacket liner and for additional insulation when I was up in the Arctic. Uh, inside I took and I coated, coated the inside and treated it with a mixture of beeswax and um, some regular tanning oil and I let that soak and, and, uh, and uh, seep into the, to the leather itself so it really doesn't uh, doesn't uh, hold any water. It sheds it pretty good, and it's a, it was an excellent insulating uh, garment for me when I was up in the Arctic. So I plan on kind of going over the next few days and highlighting all my gear selections. Uh, obviously, this jacket isn't one of my ten. I'll be focusing on my ten items later, but I figured this would be one of those things that people would be wondering about, and I love this thing. Heck, I would like the opportunity to make some more if, uh, if anybody might be interested in having one. <laughs> All right. Thank you from the Pacific Northwest in the woods outside of Vesticator, Oregon. You guys have a great day.